So hey y'all, and welcome back. Welcome back to Lisa's Cottage. This is our fourth week of our 10 Tidbits of Cleaning Tips Monday series. And I thought I would just start right where I'm having to start this morning. I thought I'd just pull out the camera and just bring you along because this is one of the 10 tidbits that I have um, written down to go over this week and to do myself the ones that need to be done, and this is the one that needs to be done. And I'm not sure if you can read that, but it says, more water, please. I mean, a machine has manners and says, please. Hmm, boy, it's pretty nice to hear manners, huh? Anyway, we're not gonna talk about manners. <laughs> Today we're gonna talk about 10 tidbits of cleaning that I do in my house. And being that it is politely asking me to add more water to the water reservoir here on the Keurig, I thought I would just share with you one of the tips that um, I do in my home. And when I remove this uh, reservoir here for the water, I'm just gonna go ahead and dump out what's in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and wash it in my famous Dawn dishwashing liquid in warm water to hot water. And I'm, I'm going to wash that out, and I've already taken the piece that um, goes on the machine down here that holds the cup, the drip uh, tray, and I already have it in the uh, laundry room in my dish pan soaking in the uh, dishwashing liquid and water. So I'm going to go ahead and wash this out, and um, I'm probably not going to dry it out because I don't want to get any lint on the inside of the reservoir here, but while I have the reservoir out, I'm going to go ahead and change the filter in it too. So that would be one of the tips that I have for this. I week. went ahead and removed the drip tray that I had already put in the wa uh, dishwashing liquid water and took it out so you could see what I was talking about. This is two pieces here. So I'm while I'm cleaning this and changing the filter, which is right there, and it's in that little compartment here. I'll show it to you when I get it out. And so while I already had this off, washing it um, and changing the filter, I thought I would wash the drip tray. So that's gonna be tip one. And then there's the little compartment that holds the filter. And you just pop it out. And that's what that little compartment looks like that holds the filter. That just goes down inside there. And I'm going to let those sit while I go get the filter to replace it. And I just keep the filters in here, back there in that bag there. That's the coffee filter. Individual bags in there. I put them in this um, Ziploc bag, and they just come in their own individual little plastic um, bags there. And then that can be hard to get out. What you have to do is you have to press, and it's got the little uh, buttons on the side here. I don't know if you can read it, but you have to press those two in, put your thumb and your uh, pointing finger on each side and press and pull down at the same time. So you press in the little buttons there and it's, it's, it has it written the word press and then pull down. But there's the used um, filter, there's the new filter, and I'm almost positive that it says to let the new filter soak in um, some water before putting it in the filter compartment. So I'm gonna let that uh, soak in the water. And I'm gonna throw this one away. So while these pieces dry, um, well, I'm gonna dry these with a clean uh, soft cloth. And uh, just a suggestion, you might wanna use a clean soft cloth when washing the inside of your reservoir so you won't scratch it up. And then while I dry those and get that put back together, I'm gonna let this soak there in the water. And then this is the clean, uh, new one. Then I'm gonna add this uh, new clean filter into the reservoir. And there we go. Water reservoir has been washed out, clean filter installed, and maybe uh, this will just help motivate you to get those things done before uh, the Christmas holidays and you're having uh, more guests in your home or having overnight guests. Just get these wee projects done and knocked out of the way 
so you can focus on the things that have to get done this time of year. Okay, no tattling here. We're not gonna point anyone out or we're not gonna have any fingers pointed at us. How many have put your coffee pot in, set the amount of water you want uh, for your cup of coffee, and pushed the start button and walked away to quickly realize you failed to put a cup underneath to catch your coffee. Hmm. Moving on to tip two. Move on to tip two. You will hear my wash turn dryer in the background. We went to Alabama to spend Thanksgiving with our daughter and her husband and their four kids. So I'm putting, I'm having to, well I did strip the beds, actually I didn't, my husband did, strip the beds off the uh, beds in the trailer. I washed the sheets, dried them, and they're ready to be taken back out to the trailer. So, tip two. We're preparing, we're kind of getting our thoughts in, uh, in gear for our house guests for the Christmas holidays. So I'm going to be sharing a few tips this week how to make your space smell better. And we're going to start right here with my essential oil stash. This is my extent of essential oil, so it's not like, hey, here's a handful of my essential oils. It is the only handful of my essential oils. And I think I'm probably going to take maybe the sweet orange and possibly the lavender. And I'll show you what we're gonna do with that in the first place for tip number two. And here we are with tip number two. We are in the guest bathroom that will be used during the holidays. We're gonna take um, our two essential oils here and we're gonna take our toilet paper off the holder. Of course, I'm sure for the holidays, you'll put a new uh, roll on before guests start arriving. But we're going to take the toilet paper and then on the inside of where the cardboard is, the roll, we're just going to drop, put one drop of each inside the toilet paper roll. And then hopefully when it's rolled off, spinning, it will throw off some smell. So there's tip two of how you can make your bathroom smell just a wee bit better during the holiday season. So I just have it off the roll and then I'm gonna lay it on its side and I'm going to put a drop of each one on each end. And if you wanted to, you could probably go ahead your extra uh, roll of tissue. It looks like I need to be bringing some more tissue in here, uh, toilet paper, and go ahead and put um, a drop of each one in the uh, extra. And there you go, just a drop on each end. One drop kind of ran down, but just put it back on your toilet paper roll. So there's tip two. Put a drop or two of your essential oil inside your toilet paper roll on the cardboard before your guests arrive. And that way, maybe your bathroom smells just a wee bit better. Put this back on. Now a question. Are you an over or under toilet paper roll person? Or you just don't really care as long as you have toilet paper? Tip three, while we're in the bathroom. We're gonna be do, doing several of the tips in the guest bathroom, being that we're getting closer to the uh, Christmas holidays as you prepare for house guest. You wanna make sure that your towels are fresh and clean uh, before your guests are due to arrive. Um, for those of you that have overnight guests, and uh, just take them out. You could probably just go ahead and do it now, um, this early on a weekend when you have a few extra minutes. It's more like, it's more than a few extra minutes, I know. And throw them in a wash load and uh, wash them up and uh, freshen them up and dry them and fold them and get them back under there for your house guest. And that way you're not having to do it at the last uh, minute. Been there, done that. So anything that you can start doing now to try to keep some of the stress level down during this holiday season. I say go for it, get her done now and call it done. Extra stack of hand towels put out, even though they're paper disposable, to dry their hands on. And then of course have a garbage can right next to the personal hand towels so they can throw them in the garbage can in place of trying to put them in the toilet. So that will be another tip. 
be sure you have um, things out in the bathroom. If it be a cloth drying towel, make sure they're clean, washed up, dried, and cleaned before your guests arrive. Plenty of hand soap. You can see I need to fill this or replace it in their own personal um, hand towels. And that way they don't have to use the towel that everyone's been using. Um, my guests, they seem to really appreciate that they can have um, their own personal hand towel when they come in to wash their hands up. So there's another tip. And while we're in the guest bathroom preparing it for guests for the holidays, um, tip five, always start cleaning from the top and move your way down to the very bottom, which is usually vacuum yourself out of a room or mop yourself out of a room, which is what I do last, the mopping. And I'm gonna go ahead, I've got my smaller ladder here, and boy, can you smell that essential oil that I put inside the toilet paper roll. It smells wonderful. So, and I just got mine off of Amazon. This is where I've gotten my oils. And what I will do, I'll get up here on my ladder, and I'll go up, I'm gonna turn the lights off and let it start cooling down, then I'll remove the bulbs, and then I'll take the globes off, and I'll take them in the laundry room in my little water basin in there with the, uh, laundry, with the dishwashing liquid in warm water, warm to hot water, and I'll wash them, and then I'll come back and just use a rag to wipe the dust and uh, the dirt that's um, up there on the fixtures. And another tip, remove your shower curtains, put them in the wash, get them cleaned up. You may have to take them outside to hand dry or if they can be put in the dryer. These right here are not shower curtains. They are actually window curtains that I have used in this bathroom as shower curtains. It has the plastic liner and I'll show you. That's the plastic liner, and this is uh, just a fabric liner, this, this look right here. And they're on those hooks that roll, and you just um, push that back to be able to get in the shower, and then you don't have to uh, pull or push back the actual curtains that I have hanging. So there's another tip. Get your shower curtains washed up, or if you're looking to, um, revamp your bathroom to give it a fresh look before guests uh, are coming in. Take a stroll down the window curtain aisle and see what you can find to use as your shower curtain decor. So there's another tip. And here they are. It was just the three globes. No big deal. Just take the light bulbs out first. And then here's the um, ceramic rings I was talking about. Those have to be unscrewed before the actual globe comes off. So just go in and look up under the, uh, the light globes and see if it has the ceramic ring or is it being held up by the light bulb or is it uh, screwed on up there. So I'm gonna wash these up, dry them, and put them back. And then while I have uh, the globes taken off and I've already wiped the uh, fixture off in the bathroom, I like to go ahead and just take the rag that I dried the globes off and just wipe off the light bulbs because it does make a difference. They get dirty too, especially if it's like your bathroom where you use hairspray and uh, stuff like that in your bathroom. So here we are with another tip, still in the guest bathroom. I have a brush for the bathroom sink area wet scrub and I will put my scrubbing bubbles on and let them do their magic and then I'll help them do their magic by using my brush here, toothbrush here, that was bought strictly for cleaning. I bought a pack of them and divide them up for different uses and then just scrub around the faucets and the handles and anywhere that my rag won't reach when I'm cleaning it. So there's another tip. And here's my after. It wasn't bad, but it's just a, a tip that I thought I'd share with you. And that way, if you can do that, like um, during your deep cleaning, such as spring, summer, winter, fall, whenever you do your uh, spring cleaning and fall cleaning, if you could just do that every so often to keep that build up up, it will help you maintain it 
throughout the rest of your cleanings. And our next tip, we're going to use a toothbrush again for the dry dusting brush. And that's just going to be to knock any dust off that's on our uh, light switch plates or around our towel um, racks or around the tops of the plate here, but not in the plug, of course. I mean, I might do something like that, but I'm not going to tell you if I do. No, you probably would know if I do. And while I was able to um, do the lights, I just went ahead and got the top. When I was up on the ladder, I got the top of the mirror and wiped the dust and the dirt off of it while I was up there. So now I'm going to do the dry dusting, which is the plates. And it's back together. All I have to do is put some fresh wax in there. A tip that I can't do, this is not part of our added tips, it's just an extra because I'm in the bathroom and I know it needs to be done. I can't do that. So I will have to ask Ken if he can get the tall ladder and get up there and take the fan, uh, the vent cover down for me so I can clean it out because they get pretty nasty too uh, down in there and of course around the, the grates there. They get dusty and dirty. So that will be something that needs to be done before the holidays. And then I'll wait till that will be the first. Remember, clean from the top down since I already cleaned this today. That's going to have to be at a later time, being that I'm working myself from the top down. And I still have to put the globes back up. I got the uh, light bulbs in just so I could light the surface here while I was cleaning. Moving on to our next tip, and we're getting close to wrapping this week up. And vacuum bags, tip 10. I'm replacing both vacuum bags. And what I like to do, this is some washer whips. You put it in your washer. It's just to make your clothes smell good. It's not a fabric softener or a laundry soap. It's just nothing but like perfume for your clothes. And I think Downy makes something. Uh, I've never bought theirs. Um, something like boost scent booster or something like that you might look into something like that uh, that you could use in the way that I'm using this or you probably have some ideas of your own that you could use and I take about a half a cup of these washer whiffs and I put them into my actual bag and then uh, when I put my bag in the vacuum and then put it the little bag in this vacuum each time that I vacuum or use the handheld vac, this scent will kick off in the air and it smells wonderful. So I thought I'd show you what it looks like. I put the bag in and then you see the hole opened up and then when I put the cover back on it, that's where the hose um, connects and I put the half a cup or the half of this cup of the washer whiffs into that hole and now I'm going to put it back together and then I'm going to move on to this one. And I was just thinking, you probably could use dryer sheets too. Just put a dryer sheet down in the bag. I bet that would work really well. Might try that sometime. Just a dryer sheet. 